Hey YouTubers, it's Chris and welcome back to my home theatre. In today's episode, I'm going to do a long term review on the Harmony Smart Remote Control. Is it, after 18 months, still the case of everything great and awesome in the world? Or is it more of a thing of maybe two worlds, two problems, or too many problems? Let's find out. Going over the basics really quickly, a Harmony Smart Remote Control System includes an RF remote control as well as software that you can load onto your Apple iOS or Android device to control up to eight different devices. Once you've set up the Harmony Hub, it's very easy to actually add on devices to the um, uh, software. The database is quite large and so long as you actually had the model number of the thing that you're trying to add. Um, it comes very quickly into the system. There's not a lot of programming you have to do. In fact, it's quite amazing how extensive and wide the database is. I believe at last count they had over 200,000 different, 200, different uh, brands um, or models. So, yeah, quite impressive. One of the benefits of the Harmony Smart System is that although you're only limited to eight devices, you can have unlimited activities on your actual um, device. So, Although this one here is limited to just six, this can be unlimited. I received a lot of queries about my setup and in general the Harmony Smart System, so I'll answer them here now. Firstly, people asked, does this um, work from a different room? And the answer is absolutely. It's an RF, that is radio frequency system, and I found it has very good range throughout the house and there's nothing more clever than being able to control your device without even having to point at it. In fact, I found myself many a time pointing at things when realistically, there's no infrared here. It would just work irregardless of where your hub is at. Another question people asked was, do you need the hub to be always connected to the internet? And the answer to that is, no, not really. You will need the internet to set up your devices because it's going to look up the Harmony uh, database for all the different infrared commands. But once you've done that, as long as you've got a Wi-Fi router and that Wi-Fi router speaks with the actual um, Harmony hub, uh, you're fine to go. Another common question I received was, can I control a device that's in a different room or in a cupboard? And the answer to that is absolutely. The Harmony hub comes with its... Um, uh, an infrared repeater and you can easily purchase a second one quite cheaply over eBay for about $35 and you see my first video you can see how you can extend that cable to a great length just using a typical RCA cable. Another common question I have was can you have more than one hub and the answer to that is absolutely. When you launch the software if you do have more than one it will ask which hub you would want to connect to. One of the good things about this software is that it's very responsive both on the soft version and what we'll call the hard version. As you can see here, uh, we've got the screen and moving backwards and forwards uh, between screens is uh, quick and zippy. Now that might be a result of maybe perhaps this phone, but I do believe that even when you press a button on here, the results are almost instantaneous. So if I press for instance, uh, pause, like that, straight away, it's on, it's off, so on and so forth. And same too on this, as soon as I press pause or play on here, it's instantaneous, it's just like you're pointing a normal remote control at your devices. On the software version, I find it's great in that you can um, easily add many different buttons from many different components onto the one screen. So for instance, on this screen here, just alone, I've got both LEDs controls, projector controls, BD, uh, DVD player controls, and so on and so forth. And that's one of the really benefits of actually using this system. Another benefit of the soft version is the fact that um, the remote controls you may have, say for your amplifier, like in my previous review, it actually has a lot more discrete infrared commands which Harmony has actually got in their database. So when you go to add a discrete command to your control here, you'll be surprised to actually find um, some really unique features which save a lot of time. The bundle remote control is great also. 
It's got very nice feel to it. It's got a little bit of a slope and gentle curve so it fits nicely under your hand. The buttons are rubbery and easy to actually get a grip on. Finding a home key, you know, that is to say a button that is easy to find in the dark without actually look at what you need to look at is easy to do as well. So I really enjoy using this remote control when we actually got everything underway and running in the home theater. Whereas this, I really enjoy if I need to troubleshoot or when I'm just launching an activity. Both a blessing and a curse. You can create on both of these remotes. Macros, that is to say, I want you to, on the amplifier say, uh, go to the setup menu, go to level seven, go to the um, sub menu of that, go to the sub menu of that, go to the right, so on and so forth. And I actually have one of those customized uh, on one of my activities for the kids so that um, after I've turned the sound um, on the amplifier over to main screen, they can undo it very quickly with just one push of the E button. But as good as that is, the real bugbear here is that when you've programmed it in for one activity, you can't actually copy that across to other activities. So it's really tiring having to go through the whole process again of saying, okay, go here, add this command, add this component, add this direction, so on and so forth. It's really tiring tedious and I just can't understand why they can't allow you to copy across macros you've already created. One of the other negatives I find with using this system is that the soft one is great when you want to start up an activity and you want to maybe customize a room and the settings uh, which get beyond the capabilities of this remote control. So what happens is, is that if I was to keep using this throughout a movie, one, you might have the lock screen, so you're going to have to unlock your screen. Okay, as you can see here, my phone suddenly just decided to drop the ball and has um, dropped out of the software, so I've got to jump back into it. Okay, it's reconnected. Now I actually have to look at it to use the buttons. And unlike with this remote control, which I talked about earlier, how you can actually just through feel, you know exactly what you're pressing without having to look at it. This, you actually need to use your finger and be very careful as to what you press because one move, few millimeter, few millimeters left or right, guaranteed you're going to be pushing the wrong button. Another one of the issues I found with the remote control, the soft version that is, is that between software updates, buttons that you've previously mapped into your activity suddenly don't work, and you'll press one of them, and it'll crash. Please, Harmony, fix this. It's really annoying. <clears throat> As much as I like this remote control, I've got to say, it too does have its issues. Now, I've had Harmony remote controls for about, oh, 10 years now. This is about, well, my fourth version. Here's my third version. This is what we use out in the TV room. Now, you may notice from this, and this is a bit old, what is this? It's a Harmony uh, 525. Bit beaten up, looking very tired. But you know what? It's got an LCD screen here that can tell me what it's doing and what it, um, what it will achieve if maybe I'm trying to troubleshoot an activity that started up and something hasn't worked properly. Okay, and you get that feedback and it helps you on this LCD screen. Obviously, what you don't get here is that feedback. There's no LCD screen to help you troubleshoot and to maybe identify how you need to fix something and so on and so forth. So if something fails to start, all you have to do is, well, press the button again and hope it doesn't cycle everything off, because let's face it, and this is a discrete on command or off command, that's very likely what's going to occur. And also the other big, big issue which you'll find in many reviews is that these activity buttons across the top here, there's only three of them. Now a short press will start three different activities and a long press will start three different activities. But that's it, you're stuck to six. So unlike the soft version where you've got nine, 10, 12, doesn't matter, you can do as many activities as you want to, this is only limited to six and that's an issue. When you set up an activity on the Harmony system, the buttons on this remote control are actually predetermined by Harmony. So if you want to go add, let's say, an LED light control for any of the activities, you're actually then limited to very few buttons that are available on the actual setup. Typically, your navigation buttons, your play, stop, fast forward, all that sort of jazz will already be predetermined, which is fine and that's fair and logical, but conversely, It'd be nice if perhaps these numerical keys could be maybe what you want them to be, not what Harmony thinks they should be. 
And that brings me to the last issue that I have with this remote control. You can't always remember what you may have programmed in. I haven't put any sort of maybe help on the back here by sticking on a little bit of a this button does this for this activity or this button does that for that activity or even heck remembering what you've programmed in here for the different activity buttons you know I seldom actually use this remote control to start things up and I think that's because well damned if I can remember what those different activities do because I've got like 10 on my phone and only 6 on here so you will get used to it, I get that, but it's still definitely a limitation you have to be aware of. After more than 18 months of ownership, I can still say today that the Harmony Smart System is definitely the right product for this home theater. Now, as I kind of alluded to in the introduction, it's a case of two worlds. On the one hand, you've got the RF remote control, which although is a bit limited and not very helpful when it comes to troubleshooting, works flawlessly and I've never really had any issues. On the other hand, the soft version has some bugs in its firmware and controlling is a little bit dicey. So if you're aware of those things, that's fine. But would I buy it again? Maybe, maybe not. Now there's the Harmony Ultimate, which gives you an RF remote control with also like an LCD um, control screen. So I'd actually go for that one, but at $400, it's definitely a big jump up compared to 165. Alright, 